Hello guys, this is Aladdin and today you are going to talk about the make it easier strategy. This video is ideal for you if you are preparing for math competitions or if you just enjoy mathematics. We will illustrate the make it easier strategy with the following problem. Consider the following diagram. Can you connect each small box on the top with the same letter mate on the bottom with paths that do not cross one another? nor leave the boundaries of the large box. If I connect A to A, well, to connect C, I need to go through this path, but there is no way I can connect B to B. Take a few minutes to think about the problem. It's a very interesting one. I would say that after a few tries, the problems seem kind of impossible. Let's apply the make it easier strategy. What if we just have an easier problem uh, with this following diagram? The solution for this one is very straightforward. You just click A to A, B to B and C to C. Uh, let's work our way back to the initial problem. What happens if I push A a little bit to the left? Now I'll push C a little bit to the right. And this is it. This is the solution and this is the same as our initial problem. Let's apply the uh, make it easier strategy on a real Olympiad problem. Show that for all integers y larger than one, y minus one divides this expression. What seems to be hard here is the complex exponents that we have. Um, let's get rid of it. Okay, let's make the problem easier. So applying the make it easier strategy. An easier problem would be y minus 1 divides y minus 4y plus y plus 3y squared minus 1 which is equivalent to y minus 1 divides minus 2y plus 3y squared minus 1 which is equivalent to say that minus 2y plus 3y squared minus 1 is congruent to 0 mod y minus 1. The initial easier version question becomes the following it might be useful to find the congruence of y mod y minus 1. So, since y minus 1 is congruent to 0 mod y minus 1, y is congruent to 1 mod y minus 1. So, let's replace y by 1 in this expression. It yields that minus 2 plus 3 minus 1 which is equal to 0 is congruent to 0 mod y minus 1 hence we have proven uh, the property for the easier problem let's go back to the initial harder problem and try to apply the same idea since y is congruent to 1 mod y minus 1 y to the power of k is congruent to 1 mod y minus 1 for all integers k. That's a way to get rid of the complex exponent in here. So 
our expression becomes congruent to 1 minus 4 plus 1 plus 3 minus 1 which is congruent to 0 mod y minus 1 and that's how we solve the problem I will leave the next two problems for you to try to solve them well what would be an easier version and how would you solve the easier version and go back to the initial problem put your results in the comments See you on the next video.